when you um, hear about now this, this package that's being announced, do you believe it's substantial enough and do you think it's going to help people who are most impacted by the high cost of living, Tricia? I suppose from our point of view, I think the package of support shows that there is enough resources there to protect people on low and fixed incomes and invest in services like childcare, like housing and like transport. But really it comes down to the government making the right decisions, properly poverty proofing those decisions and making sure that the resources are directed at those on low and fixed incomes. So from our point of view, really in relation to the social welfare increases, they need to be set, core rates need to be increased by a minimum of 20 euro. It would, it would mean 17 euro would just be standing still and we need to address the high levels of poverty as well that we see in this country. So that's why we need a 20 euro increase. And for children who are in very, very poor households, there's the qualified child increase and that needs to be increased um, by 12 euro for children over 12 and by 7 euro for children under 12. And we think broad based measures like the uh, electricity credit, while they do help people, really aren't using the resources to the best um, of the state's ability. So, for example, the, the energy credit could cost in the region of 300 million. And for the same amount of resources, you could actually deliver genuinely free primary and secondary education, which would make a huge difference to families struggling across the country. For 68 million, you could expand the fuel allowance, which is a vital form of support to people in receipt of the working family payment. So that's that would be a major um impact on households who are at work and who are struggling as well. And Tricia, just the opposition have been strongly calling for an emergency budget for measures to be in place now, not this early announcement around a budget at the end of September, but for something that will immediately help families. Would you agree with that? And what do you think are the most pressing things that should happen now, in your opinion? So I think there's a couple of options, you know, the double um, Christmas bonus type payment for people on social welfare could be paid. We're already taking calls from families who are really worried about back to school costs already. So we really need to help those families as well because that will come before budget day um, and those pressures will really pile up, pile up on parents as well. I suppose from our point of view, it's really more important to get longer term permanent measures to address the inadequacy of our social welfare system to ensure that people who are experiencing energy poverty can access, access the fuel allowance. So we need to get the package of supports right um, and we need government to act as quickly as possible as well. All right. OK, I want to bring Matt Carthy in here. Matt, um, overall, we're hearing about this potential package of 400 million euro. We know, indeed, listening to the minister, they're not putting an exact figure on that. But from Sinn Féin's point of view, you'd like to see a billion euro added to that if it is, in fact, 400 million. Yeah, I think what people needed to hear today wasn't potential measures that may or may not be brought about in September. They needed government to understand the challenges that they're facing in the here and now. We've been calling for several months for government to introduce an emergency budget because people need emergency support. Um, just to reiterate what we've just heard, um, I'm told charity shops are inundated with calls in relation to school uniforms. People do not know how they are going to face the increased um, costs that they will face for the basics of allowing their children to go to, to school. That's in recognition as well that come September, heating and energy costs and bills are going to start rising again. So to be quite honest, I think today was an awful lot of spin and deflection as opposed to what okay. people really need to hear is what specific supports are government going to provide in the here and now? And the answer is none, okay. not until September at the very earliest. A spin and deflection and essentially, did the government miss a trick here? I don't think so, because <clears throat> obviously the evidence doesn't back that up in terms of the measures that have been taken already. No, and I know, some that and, we're I know. and a lot from. has been discussed around the measures taken already. I'm yeah. just listening there to yeah, what Trisha Keelty had to say yeah. about the back to school cost. 25% of parents, according to Vincent Paul, uh, Vincent Actually, Paul let me finish there. Get, no, no, just for one second, because I know you're talking about measures that are already in place, but just that figure around back to school costs, which are pressing. Mm -hmm. For many families now, 25% of parents will get into debt over paying those costs. And also the idea of a double welfare payment, that this could come in the summer instead of later on in the year. 
So we have the back to school payments to come out yet from the Department of Social Protection to assist with that. We also have changes to the further and higher education budget, which will increase the maintenance grant, increase the threshold of the means test, and also a form of the adjacent rate, which will improve for a lot of students. Uh, those measures have yet to kick in that will support families. So the government has to uh, form a judgment here. If they have an emergency budget, like Matt is asking for, and obviously when we come to September, that we have a situation where interest rates are increasing, where the weather obviously is getting worse, and there's going to be continued inflation as is forecast, well, you can't go every month and follow an inflation trail because what many won't... Uh, take uh, for granted, or some people do, is that we have a quarter of a trillion euro of debt in this country. Interest rates are going up. And the worst that could happen is that if we follow inflation whereby we can't sustain okay. the expenditure streams, well, then the most vulnerable will pay a heavy price, like they did in this country. The vulnerable back a are decade paying ago. a heavy price. And but essentially what you're saying to them I'm is that we can't support you today in case no. your situation well, is even is worse saying, later on in the year. What Matt is saying, we'll give cash payments for everyone no. that has an income of under 60,000. You will give 150, 100 euro of a rent credit. We're going to yes. increase the Can minimum I, wage. Just We're going to cut childcare by a quarter. What, what about the but tax? What like, about the tax? That's oh, which, of those, those which of those proposals do you oppose? No, economics. it's not. It's you all. It's all. Do all them it's all cost. You absolutely can't. Bear with me one second. Just bear with bear with me one second. I just want to ask you specifically on the tax package. Then you're saying what Sinn Féin are calling for for this this payment to families. I think it's a thousand euro or one off payment. Um, there will be tax breaks. I think that, you know, Leo Radker has kind of mentioned it again today that there's room and there's space and we need to, um, you know, we need to see tax breaks there. I mean, that's likely to, to help middle income earners, but also high income earners. No, it won't, because when you look at the first instance, when it's targeted at those that are on the average wage of €40,000, essentially what you're doing is you're reducing the burden of taxation on that middle cohort. 35% of uh, people now are outside the tax net in this country because we've increased it substantially. We've increased the minimum wage seven times. But my core point is that, you know, opposition can promise things every single day of the week, but when it goes wrong, they won't have to account for okay. that. And that needs to protect the most vulnerable.